Hello mga kababayan, welcome to my channel, welcome to laruan ni Obi Wan. This is going to be my first review of a wrestling action figure. So I pick no other than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This action figure is based from the Hubs and Show Fast and the Furious um, live action movie. So let's not take any more minutes introducing this guy. We know who he is. Let's take this figure out of packaging. Let's examine our purchase. Basically, it's just the action figure, that um, Hawaiian uh, skirt piece for males, and an alternate set of hands. So I think this guy is ready to be picked out of packaging. When we talk about the GM, the Iron Man character, we would always think about the actor Robert Downey Jr. that is by association. That is the same thing with me when we talk about uh, the, uh, the G.I. Joe um, roadblock character, I would always associate him with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, especially when he played that character in the live action movie. So. My intention of uh, purchasing this action figure is I wanted to replace the roadblock action figure that I had in my G.I. Joe classified um, display. So I was really not so uh, satisfied with this action figure. Um, of course, this is the roadblock presented to us by Hasbro under the G.I. Joe Classified Series line but as you could see with regards to um, height and build this action figure feels more like Roadblock as compared to the official Roadblock action figure so that is the route where we are going with regards to converting this action figure of Dwayne The Rock Johnson so let's Start. Instead of taking out that Hawaiian skirt piece, I would be building on that specifically because I would want my roadblock action figure to really stand out. So instead of the more traditional um, tactical looking uh, roadblock action figure with the vest, the webbing and the bag and the guns and everything, I would like something with a different flair or Feel. So I'm going to keep this on with this action figure and because it is red, I'm going to add this to my roadblock action figure to complement the red skirt that he has. Um, a ban red bandana won't be that so bad. With that bandana added on to the head sculpt, uh, it complements the skirt, the tattoos, and that smile. So actually, this head sculpt is really not that bad because, um, of course, um, traditionally, um, if you talk about roadblock, you would want this um, specific um, head scalp to be used. But actually, this head scalp is okay because our uh, goal actually is to do something different. So let's proceed with the other modifications. Basically, the action figure is already ready, so we really did not do anything to it, just added a red bandana. Now, with the weapon system that we're going to use, instead of the uh, 60, uh, 50 caliber M2 Madius, which um, the more 1980s uh, traditional um, roadblock action figure would come with, that is a 128-pound uh, weapon system carried by a three to four man team actually the 128 pounds is still without ammunition so instead of going that route with um, uh, supplying a majus to um, our roadblock action figure we would be using instead a more um, lightweight uh, machine gun the M60 which is um, chambered in 7.62 by 39 now this specific um, 
um, weapon piece is from a Marvel Legends. So we, should, we would usually have this with any of the Marvel Legends um, action figures that we get. So it is um, conveniently ready for us to use. So this um, ammunition carrying system, the suspenders with a battle belt with these two um, bags where we could where roadblock could possibly keep ammunition in store is for actually assigned for a one is to six scale action figure but i already made um, adjustments beforehand and made a fitting and i see and i could really um, show you that it's actually a good fit so even if this is for a 12 inch um, action we meant for a 12 inch action figure um, actually it could still be um, a bit scaled down to and be proportionate to a uh, 1 is to 12 action figure so instead of um, using really 1 is to 12 accessories I just use what is available on hand in my 1 is to 6 scale parts bin so presenting to you my fellow collectors my own uh, 1 is to 12 scale build of my own roadblock action figure because I just got too tired of um, G.I. Joe classified series um, they kind of look like the same from one figure to the other just a different head sculpt with different um, flair or tone to them but actually um, it's just reuse or make use of the same materials just different colors and different head sculpts but this is really a totally different um, um, G.I. Joe action figure which I call a uh, declassified action figure so this is going to take the role of my roadblock in my display piece so if you are into um, 1 is to 6 scale build then or modeling then you could use some of the accessories that are available to you first. So for example these suspenders and that belt and these pouches are for a 1 is to 6 scale build the ammunition belt on this uh, machine gun actually is from a 1 is to 6 scale weapon the m240 light machine gun but um, i made a fit with this um, m60 and it kind of matched so the port um, would really um, allow the insertion of a cartridge into the um, the port system so i just glued it in and cut portions of the ammunition belt and glue them to the side of these um, supposed to be ammunition bags so these two bags actually are for a if used in a one is to six scale model build of a us uh, of any military soldier it's supposed to be for a medical kit or pouch or IFAC or individual first aid kit but if you're going to make use of them for a 1 is to 12 scale build like this it's going to look like a ammunition pack where you could store that belt and hang some portions on this on this on the outside so you could just tag them and load your weapon system in case you run dry so of course the belt um, and the suspenders um, they are uh, kind of big but really not that big because if you take into account the um, weight of all the ammunition that you are carrying actually in real life um, battle belts and suspenders are nicely uh, proportioned as to this uh, really um, distribute and carry that weight on your person so they have really wide shoulders and really thick or wide belts 
to support all that weight carrying of your gear and ammunition. And as you could see, um, actually, it is not that so bad. So actually, this I use it for. Uh, it's meant for a, um, a field dressing, but instead for a one is to twelve, uh, 12 scale build it's going to be an admin pouch because i don't want this portion the back of the belt to be empty so i just glued in this uh, pouch so it's it resembles something of a admin pouch so this is my one is to six k ah uh, one is to 12 scale build of road pack my own personal declassified action figure so if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And see you on the next custom action figure review.